Marlene Rodriguez. Okay, and so what are you expecting award tonight? Yes, we are nominated for Best Latin Group, Los Reales del Norte. Great, and where, what city and um, state are you from? We are from Modesto, California, from South Modesto. I'm really glad to be here tonight. Eusebio Rodriguez, bajo sexto, which is guitar and primera voz. My name is C.T. Rogers, and we are Spy versus Spy. Oh, okay. And so are you guys being nominated for anything Yes, tonight? we are in the alt-indie pop category. And we're playing. Yes, that's we're, great. We're performing tonight, uh, the third, third, I was going to say third half, but I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Third quadrant of the show. So what city are you from? Oakdale, bud, and also Modesto. And Modesto yeah. Okay. Uh, Tony Cardinal, I play bass in Spy vs. Spy. Um, yeah. I'm Jarrell Rosetto, um, I play keys, and I sing, and I play guitar. My name's Manny Mora, and I play drums. We're excited for tonight, appreciate the nomination, and we're excited to play a state theater. Thank you. My name is Ella Rajpan. I'm the lead singer of Venus Rising. Okay, and so are you guys going to be nominated for a song tonight? We are nominated for Best Youth. Great! So, what is your name? Uh, Chloe Fontana. And what is your name, first and last name? Molly Cayley. What is your first and last name? Jordan Smith. And what is your first and last name? I'm Kaya Smith. Okay, so how long have you groups been together? We have just been together since the beginning of summer. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Okay. Interview you. Yeah. My name's Jeff Moore, 1984. Okay, and what's your first and last name? Joe Moore. Joe Moore, and what's your first and last name, sir? Bill Stokes. So are you going to be nominated for a song tonight? Yeah, yeah I'm nominated uh, for Best Singer-Songwriter. Okay, and, and what city are you from? Modesto, but originally Oakdale, bud. Okay. Oakdale, <laughs> bud. Real one. Mr. One, yeah. And what city are you from, sir? Modesto, California, born and raised. So what brings you here tonight? Nominated for Best Hip Hop. Okay. My name is Jordan Waters. Okay. My name is Jen Waters. Love the crew. <laughs> Thank you. Raul Ontiveros. And your first and last name? Adam Castellanos. Okay, and he's... Like you play with drums, huh? Yes. Okay. <laughs> hey. Enrique Burgos. Okay. And we're Rising Point. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we're Rising Point. So we're very thankful to be nominated and uh, appreciate being here. My name is Justin Badger. Where am I from? Yeah. Uh, from Oakdale. Oakdale. Yeah. So are you being nominated tonight for anything? Yes, um, our band Catapult Collision in the punk category. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah, this is Gina Lucas. Hi there. Hi. And what's your name? I'm Sam Knowles. Ben Phil. Ben Danger. Okay, great. <laughs> Hi cutie, what's this your is name? Araya. My name's Araya. Can I say your name? My name's Araya. She's moral support. Hey okay. Kim. Tiffany Delacruz. So what brings you here tonight? Nominated, Americana Award. Okay. Yeah. So who are these beautiful young ladies? Drew. First last name? Uh, Drew Stewart. I'm Rita Taylor. Okay, so is this your moral support? Yeah, this is my moral. These are, I'm their biggest fan, so. Okay, great. I thought to bring them. Oh, congratulations, <laughs> and you enjoy yourself. Yeah, thank you. Hello, hello, hello. How you hello. doing? How you doing, hey. man? I'm Chopper. I'm a local artist from the 209, you know what I mean? Okay. Big salute to the State Theater, you know what I mean? We got my guy Cuts by Vic, you know what I mean? We got the barbers. They got the barbers with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here down the street. Okay. So we do it all. It's called Exclusive. Tell them what the bell. It's Beyond Exclusive Studio right here next door to the State Theater. Beyond okay. Exclusive Studio, we, we do barbers, we sell merch, we do custom stickers, graphic and designs. We're just out here doing it all, out here, uh, for the city, putting off our culture, you know what I mean? Okay, so, so are you guys yeah, I nominated think it's for anything? Yeah, I, I think got nominated for the hip hop category. So you feel me? That's why we're here, you know what I mean? I'm one of the nominees, so let's go. We're gonna get that mama award and take home, baby okay. chop easy. Scott Patrick. And so what brings you here tonight? I was nominated for an award for Americana. Okay, and how long have you been performing? Ooh, most of my life since I was about 12. Since you were 12? Yeah. So what city are you from? I'm from Mariposa, but I play in the Modesto area quite a bit. Okay, so do you have an Instagram that people I can do. see? I do. You can find me at Scott Patrick Official. Okay. Uh, we're performing and we're nominated for Best Youth. And what's your first last name? Liam Frisbee. Chloe Fontana. Liam Washburn. Okay, so how long have you all three been performing? Um, like 
like it just like two months. Probably two months. About two okay. Months. Yeah. So can I get your first and last name? Um, you could, but you know, then what would it leave me with? Oh. <laughs> My name is Orlando Jose, but they call me Mira. Uh -huh. So what brings you here tonight? I will be hosting the show tonight. Great. And 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 you know, so I I I. I uh, <laughs> Monkey suit, monkey suit, monkey do. But yeah, so. Uh, you have an Instagram? I, I, I have several things. The best way to find me is either with my name, because there's not a lot of Mitta Goodwins out there. I don't have to put the J like Malmsteen did. Or at This Is Ska Radio, which is my Ska Radio show that broadcasts on 50 plus net networks across the world. Okay, well, thank yeah. you for the show. Tonight. And this man, this man. He's a cheetah. I mean, you know, cheetah print. Yeah. <laughs> I was expecting more purple. Yes. But I like what's going on here. <laughs> Claudia Streeter. Shelly Streeter. Tony Litke. Okay, who were you nominated for? The, the Vibes. The, the vibes. band The Vibes. The band The Vibes. Yes. And I think it's the um, Blue Collar. Blue Collar. Yeah. We're so excited. Yeah. Gloria T. Oh yeah, that's me with Gloria T. Daryl T. Okay. Who brings you here tonight? I was nominated for the blues and jazz. Uh, yeah. I'm the singer songwriter Micah Van Zant. Okay. Here to get. You nominated for anything? Yes, yeah, singer-songwriter category. Okay. Yeah, and this is my son. Well, well, my uh, guard, okay. personal guard. So we're really excited because it's uh, the first year that drag is uh, is a is a is a uh, award here, so to be recognized. So we're excited about it. And even so though if we what don't. What is your beautiful name? My name is Catalina St. James. And I'm Gigi Banks. Okay. Do you guys have an Instagram? Uh, Kitty Cats Five. K I T T Y K A T T S Five. I'm just Gigi Banks with two S's at the end. I'm Ezra Camacho. Reese Carpenter. Emily Rubicava. Uh, Jane and Show. Sophia Haney. Uh, JJ Plague. Nicholas Galvan. Well, how long have you guys been uh, performing together? Like, uh, two, years? two years. Two years, yeah. yeah. At floods.of.fire. Hey! <laughs> Sabrina Rodriguez. Thank you. You look nice too, all shiny. Miss Bling Bling out here. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, so um, I got two of my friends who are up for an award. They're actually going to come perform at our show November 4th. Um, Where will that be? That's going to be at High Water Brewery in Lodi. Okay. So Serena, one of my good friends, um, she's up for the third time. Um, she's already won twice, so I'm praying for her for good for good luck, Jimmy as well, so um, yeah, very excited. Um, I'm in Best Drag category for the Mama Awards. And what is your first and last name? I'm Grease Paint. Okay. Yes. You look very beautiful. Thank you, you do yeah. too, you look stunning. Thank you. Do you have an Instagram? Yes, um, Body by Satan, not by Milk. Okay. Hurts my stomach. <laughs> Juan Torres. I'm Ricky Lopez. So what brings you two gentlemen here tonight? Uh, we're presenting the rock metal category today. We're with Dub Night Entertainment. I'm nominated for best drag. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. So you have I do. It's magnifique.gram. M A G N I F I Q U E dot G R A H A M. Uh, Rose Thomas. And so, what are you doing here tonight? My friends, Horizon Point. Yay, Horizon Point. Um, they're, they got nominated for punk, and I'm just, I'm so excited to see them perform. Okay. Yeah. Melinda Rodriguez. Uh, my husband works production, and I'm a previous Mama winner. Okay. And my bestie is Mominated and singer songwriter. So, what's your first and last name? Candace Slam. Oh, great. What's your first and last name? Hi. 
Chris Walker, I'm the drummer for Nerdy, the band Nerdy, and also Oasis Pelagrosis with Melinda Rodriguez. Okay, and so your husband. Just a big old support team. Yeah, big old support team. My name is Willie Taylor. And so what brings you here tonight? I'll be playing with the legendary uh, Bobby Black. Uh, he's a pedal steel player for Lifetime Achievement. And what's your beautiful, lovely name? I'm Rita Taylor. Okay. She's I'm Josh Malcolm. Um, we have a little venue called Dying Breed Brewing, and uh, we're here to uh, support everybody and everything that's going on here. So, uh, good times. So, do you have an Instagram? Yeah, uh, Willie T. Taylor. Yes, they love Rita. Yeah, Dying Breed Brewing. <laughs> okay. Well, sure. What's your first and last name? I'm Chris Murphy. I'm the founder of this event. Yeah, we're in our 23rd year, yeah. So for 23 years we've been celebrating live music here in town and you know Modesto's got something magic going. We have so many different genres from rock and roll to metal to indie to acoustic. I mean jazz and blues, it's really cool. And this year we got new categories, we've got drag performances here this year and we got comedians going and we've got a special presentation. 89 year old slide guitar player tonight. So there's always something magic happening at the event. So well, thank you. You guys are too. Thanks for coming out. Thank you. Enjoy the show. There's got to be some good surprises. We're gonna we're gonna celebrate Darren Morris, who teaches kids how to rock and roll. Well, do you have an Instagram that we can follow? Modesto Chris at Modesto Chris. That's me, and we're at Modesto View. Okay. So Modesto View, we bring this stuff to everybody, and so we're happy to be here. And thank you for coming out. What's up? I'm here, repping Stockton. I'm proud to be nominated. We were at the Domo First Fridays uh, and the hip hop section, so we was hosting the little kids. We do children's books and we teach kids with hip hop. So I'm very honored to be here in the 209 in Modesto. So can you give 209 with your first and last name is? Oh, Orlando Molina. That's my that's my government name as the hip hoppers say, but my rap name is Zeps. And, and these are our children's Instagram? books. Yes, Rhymosaurs. Yeah, rhyming dinosaurs for the kids. Come see us, State Theater. We'll be back here November 11th, too, doing a beat battle. Hip hop is alive and well in Modesto. We love you. 209, Brooklyn, Grind Gold. Uh. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thank you. Oh, can I give you a sticker? I'm Julian Moonlight. And what brings you here today? I'm nominated for Best Drag. Okay, and what's your name, sir? Hunter Moore. I'm Julian Partner. Just okay, and so what city are you from? We're from Modesto. You're from yes, Modesto. yes. How long have you been performing? Um, performing, and I've been performing about five years now. So do you have a history? Julian Moonlight, make sure two T's at the end. That is my job. <laughs> so. Congratulations to all the nominees. And I now present the envelopes. situation of drinking a lot of wine in my house one night and in the first year we had seven awards that we made out of Mrs. Butterworth's bottles that my wife hand made and Mike Beeler says you know I can make those out of stainless steel and 22 years later Beeler donates the Mama Award for this show because they really support what we're doing in our community. Thank you Beeler and his friends. Thank you Grace. Gracie's in our All Ages Pages in the SW Magazine. But we have a great show for you tonight. Thank you, Grace. All right, let's get this show on the road. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go. There is, so you didn't know this. If you don't, you should. The State Theater has its own film school. There's a 48-hour film competition that happens here that they have to write and film and direct and produce a film in 48 hours. Out of all that came the State Theater Film School and the crew here, Justin and everybody, making this in Hakeem Peartsdorf. They're going to be filming tonight, so make sure you're looking at the camera because they're going to make a documentary about the mamas after we're done tonight. But tonight, it's being broadcast live. Hello! Watch 
watching, it's all original content. Do not kill our audio. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to have a great show. Thank you, Elliot Gage. Thank you, the State Theater Film School. We're going to have a great show tonight. It's broadcast right now, so tell your friends if you're watching at home. And we're going to have a great show. And thank you on behalf of Chris Ricky. We couldn't do it without you. Music is the soul of this city, and I would I, I would take the musicians over anyone else in any community anytime. Thank you. We appreciate you. Let's have a great show. <laughs> Jeremiah Williams, are you in the house? Jeremiah? Well, Chris Ricky, would you give us the greeting from the city of Modesto this evening? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, everybody, I'm Chris Ricky. I'm actually currently serving as the vice mayor of the city of Modesto. <laughs> okay. Who would have thought that 20 years ago? It's great to be here. I am so proud of the progress this city has made in supporting live music. It is a priority in this city. It is something that we've been working on for a long time, and I know it's something that we're going to build on. And tonight, we're expecting uh, Jeremiah Williams, who represents District 5, to also be here, so I'm sure he's going to be here soon. Sometimes he's late, but often late. So when he gets here, we'll give him a big round of applause. But again, on behalf of the city of Modesto, thank you for doing music. Thank you for supporting music, and let's get to the first award. All right, let's bring the next band, or the first band, up to the stage, Horizon Point. Playing that sad, sad stuff.
basically we would invite all the bands in town, and we'd invite all the bookers in town, and we'd say, hey, if you come, we'll give you free beer. And you get free beer until the cake pops, and we're going to talk about music, and we're going to book shows together. And it was really cool. And one of the people that I met at the, at the Fat Cat Monday night meetings was Joe Ferris. Now, Joe Ferris was, uh, was booking a, a place called the Copper Rhino. Uh, the manager of the Copper Rhino is a guy named Les Dole, and we'll get back to that in a minute. But, so Jill, I met Jill there, and she was booking bands, and so we kind of worked together. We started booking bands for the next 15 years together. And Jill didn't just do that. She started producing her own shows, and then she met this guy, Ryan Irons. Now, Ryan was a little different. The way I met Ryan, Ryan was a welder at the time, and he was welding. He did some welding work for me at the back end. And somehow, I'm not sure exactly how this happened, maybe Jill can tell us, but like these two got together and they just became this power couple of the music scene in Modesto. And they had created a sound company that did sound stage lightings at festivals, at clubs, all over this valley for the next 15 years together. And now, they're opening this club that we all heard of and that we love, the GOAT at 10th and J. So Jill and Ryan, this dashboard bomb is for you. I know that this scene appreciates all the hard work you put into it, love and sweat. And thank you guys. Thank you so much. Oh, and of course, Jill's managing the show tonight. Yeah, Ryan's back there running the sound right now, so these guys are doing everything. All right. I think Jill's email is still Jill Rock and Roll, Rockabilly, Hillbilly, Swing. We have a very special treat for you tonight. My friend Adrian Mendoza, former photographer of the Bee and one of our great friends, Adrian Mendoza, said, I met this guy who will blow your mind and we have to get him on the mom stage because he's traveled all around the world. He's worked with Commander Cody, worked with all these different musicians. He's done band, band offs, song offs with Bob Willis and the Texas Playboys. And he lives in Manteca. So now he's one of us. And so, we told Adrian, I need some friends that play rock and roll, write some music, and we hooked him up with none other than the amazing Chris Dow. So Chris, take it from here. Tell us what we got going tonight. We appreciate you guys. Thank you. Yeah, Adrian called me up and said that we had this opportunity to play with Mr. Bobby Black, and of course, the Good Luck Thrift Store outfit, and we have been playing around for the last 20 years, so I thought, what better opportunity, we wouldn't want to miss this. So we're going to play a few old, few old ones for you. Um, anybody ever heard of Hank Williams? Senior? Good, good stuff. If you don't recall, Hank Williams was out kind of during the Western Swing time, which is dance music, so... If you feel like dancing, this is a really good opportunity. Come on up. Bobby would appreciate it. I don't know that Chris listed off everything that Bobby's done, but the list is long. This guy started playing professionally in the 40s, in the 1940s. He was on some of the earliest country recordings that came out of Star Day Music down in Beaumont, Texas that launched George Jones' career. Just amazing, amazing life. Yeah, Bobby. Oh. 
Mr. Bobby Black. I'm sorry, I'm stepping on your car. We're gonna do one more quick one. Uh,
start talking about you love. Start talking about sin. I said, now, how do I get to you? This is one of his bandmates here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Kyle. You know, I went to high school with Kevin. We met in an English class my freshman year. And we put bands together. And there's been a lot of guys from this area that have played in bands with him. I think of Rick Serna, who was with me for 17 years in another band. Bill, uh, Bill Garvin, Cortez Flores, I think, played with him in the band. Dave Mundy, a lot of guys played in different bands with him way back in the day. But the thing I remember about the kid is we used to practice in various groups in his parents' home. And uh, we actually played, the first gig I played with him, we played in Mrs. Ritter's English class at Modesto High School, you know. This is like 68 or something. was going to be here tonight, but he, had, he couldn't make it. But Tony sent this message in right here. And Tony, if you've ever had Tony work on your guitars or amplifiers, it's incredible. I remember the first time I met Kevin Miranda, a.k.a. Kid Guitar. I was invited to a band rehearsal and left the audition at the two-story home on that bottom land next to the dry creek overlooking the Elm Vista Bridge, traveling north and looking down to the right. I was on time to set up, but Kevin was already there. Set up to play with an orange Gibson hollow electric. He was looking over the set list by wearing a suit and tie. 
No. I was in my t-shirt and jeans. Kevin was 15 and I was 16 at the time. Even back then, he was a strong rhythm player and singer. He had good phrasing, sang well. I didn't make the cut because I never sang, and I was just a lead and rhythm picker. To Kevin, every opportunity to play was a performance. He loved performing his whole life, bypassing everything else in his life. He was a complete success and totally happy and free. He made people stop and smile in his life, never hateful, angry, or jealous that I know of, except for the fact that the Beatles and the Stones stole all the songs, right? He told me, oh, we're going to do an interview one time because you have to tell the story about how the Stones stole my music. And I said, kid, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to call from the Rolling Stones lawyer. He would always stop to talk to me and every so often I would spot him standing on the street corner. I was born the day after Christmas in 1951. I think Kevin was born on Christmas Day, 1952. One time I spotted Kevin in a parking lot watching a small TV that ran off his van charging system. As friendly as he ever was, he waved at me. He was very excited to have that TV. He would work on his publication. He would create in the library on the copier machine they had there, taping the articles together that he created, along with articles about bands. I'll never forget the sign of van, Female Musicians Wanted. <laughs> Also, in his headline publications, he would pass out copies of his rock rag to anyone that wanted one. We will sure miss him. I'm sure Kid is in heaven playing on the street corner up there. God bless him. Long before Kid Rock, Tony says, there was Kid Guitar. So thank you all for your memory. This is all, this is all very true. And I just wanted to say I've been working on a little memorial for Kid Guitar. So if you want to like donate to his memory, you can go to uh, just Google Kid Guitar uh, Memorial and it'll come up for you. Go fund me. For those of you that don't speak Spanish, it's the Goofy. <laughs> my mom took me to get my very first two tattoos. My eyebrows came out looking fresh. <laughs> They're still there, so I could do this and not delete them. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for all the love. 
love and support. I want to thank the Wet Man Vitos for allowing me into their family as well. Yeah. Come on, let's give it up for Wet Man Vitos. Come on. Let's... We love you guys so much. We like to uh, give our thanks on behalf of the other members that couldn't make it tonight. So nice and loud, let's give it up for them one more time. I'm totally kidding, I turned 42, but the look on your guys' face was like, dang, she looks good. That's for my self-esteem. I heard someone say, does she sell Herbalife? <laughs> I'm attracting the youngins right now between the ages of 26 and 32. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I was at a bar with my girls recently. A group of kids walked in, I mean, 26-year-olds. <laughs> And this guy tried to talk to me, and I knew by the questions he was asking how old he was. Like, he was young. He said, when did you graduate high school? <laughs> so he carried the one. 2000. I graduated in 2000. He said, so you went to school in the 1900s. <laughs> what do you say to that? I'm like, ah, get out of my yard. Like, I was like, I went to school in the late 1900s. <laughs> um, he proceeds to ask for my number. I was like, I'm gonna have fun with him. It's 867. 5309. He said, I didn't unlock my phone. Can you say it again so I can be prepared and put it in my phone? I said, I'm gonna sing it to you. Because studies show that if you sing something, you'll memorize it better. So if you know my number, you can go ahead and sing along. I said it's 8675309. He said, see, this is why I like older women. You guys are clever. His friends are across the bar. They're like, leave the cougar alone. I think uh, white women are cougars. I have a theory, okay? I think white women are cougars. I think black women are black panthers. Yeah. I am Mexican, I'm a chupacabra. Woo! That's my time, guys. My name is Gordon Magani. Thank you so much. Give it up for your host. It is Tia Davis.
And there are a lot of winners. I'm not going to read them all. But this year... Alright. So for this year, we have the following nominees. Tiffany Rose and the Outlaw Hearts. Western Bound, Blue Line, Chris Dowd and Savage Company, Blue Box Bayou Band, Tony T and the Pendletons, Nat Jackson and the Knock on Wood Players.
this really brief. So that's Groovy Shake. I'm Kate Trumper, Trisha Rosenau is our colleague and other co-producer. Um, here's the thing about events, y'all have to say yes, and we continue to be really grateful that we have the honor of creating an opportunity for people to gather in neighborhoods and play music. And I think the only other thing I really felt like I wanted to say tonight is that sometimes in a, a world where things can feel really, really broken, I think about moments like Porch Fest or the Mamas and what music does to bring people together regardless of their politics or where you're from and the kinds of things that you believe. And I'm just so grateful that you all show up and you shake hands and you meet strangers and you dance. So, really from the bottom of our hearts, we just always we're just your logistical partners and this is about all of you. So thank you so much.
Yeah, it's Friday. Yeah, tomorrow. My, my time frame is all off. So, the dashboard mama. Many years ago, we were talking, I got brought into the fold, and we came up with the idea of giving an award to those who do not fall into a category. The photographers, the sound guy, the techs, etc., etc., etc. So, for the third dashboard mama tonight, they may have an idea. I've been convincing them to stick around the whole night. Our San Joaquin correspondent, the Duke, the man in purple. Go ahead and flash that up there. Dashboard Mama Orlando Jose. Bring it all up, my friend. Yes, Duke and Duchess is. Oh, he brought a little friend. He brought a little friend. Hello. Many of you may have been interviewed out front this year, last year, the year before, the year before that, and maybe not the year before that because of COVID. But, so, you're the press tonight, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Your, your name is Mr. Purple. Mr. Purple. So, what do you think about Orlando Jose getting this dashboard mama to this year? This is pretty amazing. Pretty amazing, indeed. So, you want to pull that up on top of Mr. Purple? <laughs> 2023, third dad for Mama, Orlando Jose. Do you have any words, Orlando? Amazing event. Thank you all. Thank you for always coming out, making everybody look good, and giving San Joaquin County a little piece of Modesto. Thank you again. Up next. All right, let's give it up for Mr. Purple there. Thank you guys, Dashboard Mamas. I always want to get a little sticky stuff to put him on there, actually on your dashboard, cruise around in the car with him, with a Dashboard Mama. Those way we need little propellers on him or something. Anyway, we've got a, we had a great, we had a great night of music here tonight. Unbelievable. Thank you all for staying for everyone's performance. These are the true music fans who come out and support everybody. Mark Trice in every show. Funky Ken and Ann out there. We love seeing you out at these shows. It's great to see everyone support each other. It's dynamite. Hello? Is this thing on? We're so used to those, those cranes over there. Thank you guys. I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. I think we're going to start crying here in a minute. Tony is. So we, we've been in this scene for uh, over a decade now, uh, but we're all, we're all around 30 years old. Half of our lives we've been fighting for a while. And, and we've been throwing ourselves at it. And, and me and this guy right here are from Oakdale, so it, it definitely feels like trying like a smaller fish trying to get deep in a slightly bigger pond. And, and I couldn't be more proud of being part of this uh, gloriously medium pond. I love it. It's the best music scene in the world. And, and I can't say enough. I'm, I'm going to ball my eyes out I'm over here. Um, I want to thank everybody and um, uh, everybody in my life, everybody in your guys' lives, and, and I'm going to let it go because I'm rambling. Yeah. Um, I just want to say thank you for everyone who voted. Thank you all for coming out and continuing to support local music. Um, also, I mean, we all put in a lot of good work, but this guy right here, C.T. Rogers, like he said, he's been fighting for this thing for so long. He deserves this. So that works for everybody more than anything. Let me just get like one night with it, but then like the rest of this All right. Well, thanks, guys. I just want to say that I think. Like more than anything, uh, it means a lot to play music with some of my best friends, and really my best friends the whole time. Um, and so, yeah, CT, Jarrell, Tony, we've all gotten really close, and we have our ups and our downs like any relationship, but uh, you know we get some highs like this, and it's a, it's a good feeling, for sure. So thank you for the community. We're all grown up here, so, uh, so awesome, Tony. Thank you.
I just want to say thanks to everybody that voted for us, and we're so thankful to be part of a community that really fosters live music. Um, we're Spy vs. Spy. If you like what you hear, come check us out on Instagram. We're playing a show at Goat Bar, the Grand Rio Goat Bar. Come see us on Friday, please. Friday. 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 If you've been, if this is your first time being nominated, because we're all nominees in here, and if it's your first time, if it's not your first time, just know this: this is a good community. We're all here for each other, and and, and know your worth. Know your worth. I think I yeah. And there and there are many people in this community that that are at the top that know your worth, like Mr. Murphy, and and know your worth. Play shows. Uh, ask for what you deserve and, and do it right. And, 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 and we only have each other, okay? Let's do it. <laughs> Representing the 209 hip hop performer, Real One.
amazing towards all of us. I want to give a big thanks to Darren Morris. He, he really helped us grow. He's the whole reason we all started this, like the entire reason. And I want to thank everyone that's been very supportive throughout the whole time. Like my mom, I want to give a big thanks to my mom. She's been managing everything. She books all the gigs that we do. And I'm really thankful for it. And I want to thank our sound guy, Kirby, so much. He comes to every gig. He sets up everything for us, and it's always been great to have him with us. And so any other words that you guys want to say? And I'm going to go again on a really big shout out to Darren Morris. We all came up through VMI, and he really nurtured us, and we really appreciate all of you for this. Our sound guy, Lala, everybody, this is a great band. We're having a lot of fun. Thanks to all the venues that hired us, like Rivet, Few Experts, Dying Breed, that person has up in Twain Hard. Everywhere. Yeah, so we'll be up there tonight, tomorrow night. Friday. Yeah, anyway, thank you so much. Well, thank you, Darren. Thank you everybody who voted for us, and uh, we really appreciate it. Thank you everyone. This is a huge, unexpected honor on behalf of all of us. Um, such a privilege to be able to perform music with these amazing individuals. I wouldn't want to play with anyone else. I also want to thank Lala over here for booking all the gigs for us. Thank you so much. I want to thank... Their
I'm going to continue to spread love and light and make you all laugh and smile. Uh, so this is just the beginning. Presenting this award, I'll give it to DJ. Oh, you really want me to do this? It is the biggest honor because I've literally DJed for every single queen on there. One time, make some noise for your queens in the two on. I know most of you love, but make some noise for these queens. Let's go! I would like to present to you. My husband, the people, the, the queens and kings before me, the kings and queens after me. Yeah. If it wasn't for that one time with that Mary Kay palette mother, <laughs> when you used to draw my eyebrows on for me, now I draw them on myself, honey. <laughs> but, oh, but most of all, thank you every single one of you out there for voting. This is not going to be the only time you're going to have a drag queen up here or a drag performer. All the nominees up here were fucking amazing. Also, for anybody who's new to drag, I just want to let you know that drag is an art. It is not a crime. And remember that the queens are the backbone of your community. Thank you so much, Mama Boys 2023! And the winner is Beheading of the Queen. Thank you guys, everyone who voted, all the other bands that played, all the other bands that were nominated. It is greatly appreciated. All your guys' support is means the world to us. Especially since we are still pretty new, but we are really trying and to see that that work pay off, it it's it's absolutely amazing. So thank you guys. Thank everyone out there. How amazing is it that the young man over here wins for Latin or what that you know, and then is up here presenting best metal because that's the genre he's booking because it all comes together. You know. Thank you all for staying for every single performer here tonight. You're all it's the all about. This is a special night here at the Historic State Theater. Thank State Theater. Thank you, Gabby and Sam and everybody. This beautiful space is the home of the mamas. What? what? Thank you, Elliot Gage, and thank you, Jacob, of the State Theater uh, Film Film School. Thank you for bringing this broadcast to life. We appreciate your broadcast and everything. Thank you, Justin Brown, for the great video here. Keeping this thing going all night long. Ladies and gentlemen, Jill and Ryan Irons, thank you so much. Thank you, Henry. And we thank you, Henry. Henry. Thank you so much. Thank you, John Herman. Herman back there. John Herman, the State Theater Sam, working with Ryan. Yeah, thank, thank, thank you guys for coming out tonight on behalf of the city of Modesto. What an honor it is for us to do this.
get set that to tear down every year. We appreciate you guys. And uh, most importantly, thank all of you. Thanks for voting. Thanks for making music. Let's keep doing more of it. And let's make sure we're including all of our community in the things that we do. Thank uh, you so much. I also want to thank Joanna Parrish and Cousin Sean. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Our mutual cousin. They were the door people tonight. Kevin okay. Paul, thank you so much. So he'll get those to us soon and he'll start seeing them on with us you and the Facebook. We have Liam out here taking pictures. We had TV26 out here doing some uh, filming as well. Of course, the film school from the State Theater filming. So look for a lot of content coming up. There will be a documentary that will include all of you here tonight. And thanks for making tonight special. And, and thank you, Henry. Best dressed man. Best dressed man. Henry, you're the best. It feel when it what? feels great. This is my first one, so okay. I'm really excited. I've always wanted one of these. So you did time. it. Congratulations. Yeah. How does it feel when it what? feels great? This is my first one, so okay. I'm really excited. I've always wanted one of these. So you did it. Congratulations. Yeah. There he is, the big guy. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you very much. So how does it feel winning the award? It's good, man. First time being nominated, first time winning. Feels great. I've been doing music out here for a long time, you know what I mean? So born and raised here in Modesto, California. So it's it's an honor, you know what I'm saying, for sure. Well, we appreciate you oh, yeah. and you sound good up there. Thank and keep you, up the you. good work. Oh, my name is Glory Magania. Hi, so did you enjoy yourself tonight? I did. You're I, very funny. Oh, thank you. So we're um, how long have you been doing comedy? I uh, just made 11 and a half years, so. Half years. Are you, what city are you from? I'm from Modesto. From Modesto. Born and raised, yes. Okay. And um, we enjoyed you. You were very funny. Oh, thank you. So um, how can we all follow you on Instagram? Um, I'm typically more on Instagram, on, at Glory Magania. So, Glory Magania. We have a show here at the State Theater on uh, November 24th. Uh, the day after Thanksgiving, so it'll be a big, a big show. Thank you so much. Thank you. So how does it feel? Oh, no. Winning oh. the award tonight. I am so speechless right now, but it feels like I don't know. It's just a mil it felt like a million bucks. I well, feel like how I look like a million bucks, honey. You are representing for the whole. Yes, valley. this is for California, the Valley, Modesto, all the queens before me and all the queens after me. This one's for you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Right, congratulations. So how does it feel to win your award tonight? Confusing. No. Yeah. <laughs> confusing. It, it feels yeah. really good. It um, feels great because, yeah. you know, we put a lot of work into practicing. We practice like two yeah. to three times a week and usually they take like four hours we each time. We probably spend a, a good amount of like six hours average yeah. a week just, just yeah. practicing. Yeah. So, so we've worked sure. really hard so, for this. Not even six hours, more than that. I, yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So we worked really hard, and we're all really grateful to have this award. And definitely, we want to yeah. thank our community. Yeah. yeah. And can you say your wonderful band name one more time for everyone? Beheading of the Queen. Beheading of the Queen, right there. <laughs> Congratulations once again, and thank you. For sure.